Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and in this video, we're going to talk about TLS key management. So let's say you have uh, web applications that are deployed um, all across the globe in a variety of deployment you know, options. I'll put a couple of clouds on here, maybe one, maybe some private cloud, maybe some public cloud, maybe some you know, on-prem in your data center. So you've got web applications just uh, you know, deployed across the globe in a variety of uh, you know, deployment options here. And let's say, uh, let's, you, know, you of course have your users who are wanting to access your web applications. Um, but one of the issues of course is your web applications are secure. So this is an HTTPS secure transaction between the, the end user and your web application. Um, and so it's a beautiful thing to be able to deploy web applications all over the globe in a variety of different platforms with public, private cloud, on-prem, whatever. But it's also a challenge because you have to manage all of the TLS keys that are associated with that. You've got keys and certificates and all kinds of stuff, right, that you have to manage with secure web applications. So you want to employ what, uh, what's known as a key management service, or KMS, uh, to help you manage all of your TLS keys. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do this. You could, you could just say, uh, maybe, maybe even before a, a key management service is employed, you could say, hey, let me, just, let me just manage all of this on my own. But the problem with that is you've got, a t you've got you know, thousands maybe of web applications all over the globe, and how in the world are you going to manage all that stuff? Or what some people do is maybe in, a, in like a public cloud environment, they would hand off the key management to the public cloud provider. Uh, but the problem with that is you don't really maintain any control over your keys anymore. You've kind of handed all that off to your public cloud provider. So I'm going to give you a scenario here. We're going to talk through a really cool solution on how to solve uh, some, some key management um, you know, issues that may come up with this. All right, so let's say that you have all these web applications. They're you know, scaled all across the globe or deployed all across the globe. And you want this key management service, or KMS, to be cloud agnostic. So you want to be able to um, deploy it or it be able to be used with a multitude of clouds. You don't want to be locked into, hey, you have to use this cloud provider. Uh, you want it to be secure. You want it to be scalable. You want it to be able to, uh, to, to handle crypto operations that are offloaded from your web applications. And these web applications are deployed you know, on, a, on a variety of platforms across the globe, like we said. Um, but then the other thing is you want to maintain full control and ownership of uh, the key management service and its operations, all right? So whenever you, whenever you start to use words like you want it to be scalable and highly available and across the globe and those th kinds of things, you kind of start to think about public cloud options, right? Um, but you need it to be cloud agnostic and you also want to maintain full control. So a cloud-based uh, like HSM or a SaaS offering is not going to fit the bill, all right? So here's the solution that you can deploy. There is a company called Fortanix and I'll just put that up here for Tanix, uh, who lives and breathes this stuff. They, uh, they do the, the key management service, um, and, uh, and they offer what's called a self-defending key management service, or SDKMS, and you can deploy for Tanix either on-prem, or you can also uh, deploy it in the public cloud. There's, there's multiple cloud options that they offer uh, from Fortanix, and this does the, the key management service that you're looking for, right? Um, so in this specific case, a user would come to, uh, to access your web application. You would still have big IP here from the F5 perspective doing what it does. Um, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, uh, Engine X Plus right here as well. So I'm, I'll just put a little box around this. So users are going to come in and interact with big IP or, or Engine X Plus. And then, but the crypto, uh, the crypto operations are going to be offloaded to Fortanix. Uh, so I'll put, I, I'll put kind of a cloud on here, but it's, it could also be uh, deployed on-prem, uh, like I said. So um, effectively what happens is users come in, they access the big IP or Nginx Plus. The crypto operations themselves are offloaded. So this is going to be a secure transaction here. So I'll put a little lock on here. And then the crypto operations happen here. This is also a secure connection uh, between Fortanix and uh, either Big IP or Nginx Plus. Uh, but then after the crypto operations happen, then this is, a, uh, this is an uh, HTTP only. It's not the, the SSL or the TLS uh, has been stripped away. And so that's a, um, 
clear text, you know, back to the web application connection there. So, um, so Fortanix, it's FIPS 140-2 certified. Um, they use, uh, they, they, it's a secure solution because they use uh, what's called the Intel SGX or Software Guard Extensions chip. Um, and the SGX is, it's a set of instructions that increase security of, of application code, of data. Um, it, uh, it, it sort of uh, compartmentalizes, if you will, uh, the different, uh, you know, code that's, that's run on their chip. So the Intel SGX uh, chips are extremely secure and Fortanix utilizes those. So effectively what happens here is you, in order to uh, connect Big IP or Nginx Plus to Fortanix, uh, you install a, a plug-in here on Big IP or Nginx Plus. Um, so it's an RPM download. Uh, you take advantage of Fortanix's uh, PKCS 11 libraries that they offer, and they offer more than that, but in this case, Big IP, you would take advantage of the PKCS 11 libraries, um, and then, and then you, you set up the, uh, you know, the offload, the network HSM uh, configuration here on Big IP. Uh, we've got the detailed instructions on how to do all this stuff, but effectively, that's what happens. So, so you've got the, uh, the plug-in that you would install either on Big IP or Nginx Plus, and then that, uh, that you know, connects you down here to Fortanix um, on, uh, on either their cloud or on-prem you know, uh, deployment. Uh, and then all of the crypto operations are now offloaded to the Fortanix uh, self-defending key management service. Um, so this, again, gives you, go, going back to the original you know, description of the requirements that we're looking for, it needs to be cloud agnostic, so you're not locked into a cloud here. In fact, you could deploy Big IP. I'll put a cloud uh, around all this stuff too, right? So you could deploy Big IP on-prem or in the cloud. It doesn't matter. Uh, same thing with Nginx Plus. Um, you could have your web applications, you know, on-prem or in the cloud. It doesn't matter. In fact, Big IP or Nginx Plus could be sitting next to the Fortanix instance of, you know, in, in the cloud that Fortanix is installed on. So there's a whole ton of different options here. Uh, but nonetheless, it is cloud agnostic. It's secure based on that Intel SGX stuff uh, that we talked about. Um, and it's, um, it's scalable, so you can scale this out however big you want. It can certainly handle the crypto operations that are offloaded from your web applications. Um, and, but then the organization still maintains full control. So you as the organization owner, the web application owner, maintain full control and ownership of this key management service and all of its operations. So it's got the user interface, that you can uh, that you can use and um, and just maintain full control of what it's doing as your uh, as your KMS. Uh, so this checks all the boxes. So now you can uh, you can have all those things that you were looking for before that you may not have thought were possible. Suddenly now they are possible with uh, with the Fortanix uh, SDKMS solution here with either Big IP or Nginx Plus. Like I said, you can use it with either one of those. So I hope you've learned a couple things here with this Lightboard lesson video. Hey, if you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you guys out there in the community.